Church family, uh, I first of all want you to know I love you and thank God for you. Uh, the spread of the coronavirus is being the preoccupation of our government, schools, individuals, businesses. And we as a church staff here at Weatherford's First Baptist Church think that we also need to do our part in containing uh, the coronavirus. Uh, therefore, effective now and until further notice, we will suspend all in-house, in-person corporate gatherings here at First Baptist Church. This can actually be a time of healthy growth for us as a church. I'll continue to prepare and preach sermons each week. Uh, this week's sermon will be Living with Grief as we continue our series on, titled Jesus Wept. I'll record those sermons and they'll be posted on the church website at nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday. The sermons can be watched at any time after they are posted. The this, this sermon will also be broadcast at noon on 95.5 the FM, the Kyle. As a staff, we feel like it would be healthy for groups of people to gather in homes and watch the sermons together. It is recommended that groups total no more than 10 persons. Life groups could meet in homes and study their lesson first before watching the sermon. We'll also provide some questions you can use to discuss the sermon after it's over. Not the preacher, the sermon. Uh, you may want to meet as a life group for discussion and then watch the sermon on your own. That's fine. There's not really a right or wrong way to do this. We just want you to remain connected with the church family during this time. It makes me sad to think about all of us just individually watching a sermon by ourselves. Uh, there will be no options for children here at the church. Families will need to stay together in the homes that they go to. We're not going to over-organize this temporary situation. This would also be a great time to invite friends who may not attend church to come and watch the sermon with you. Some people who won't attend a church uh, will attend a home uh, if they're invited. You might even consider serving breakfast or lunch. During this time, don't forget to remain faithful in giving. Uh, you may do so online uh, or also send the money uh, through the postal service to 1510 East Davis or come by the church office. We will remain open during this time and staff is available to meet your needs. We're just trying to avoid the large gatherings uh, that are being discouraged. We pray that this temporary change will be one of the many times in life when God takes something that's bad and brings something very good out of it. That still remains my favorite thing about God. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the church office. I am sorry for the inconvenience that this poses, but I am grateful that I get to go through it with you. Thank you for your participation and consideration.